afternoon, everyone. Morning, whenever you are practicing. This is for Napa Health Quest. My name is Jan Miller. Let's find a tall seat. Let's close our eyes. Take the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Find that hollow, that hard palate, the roof of your mouth. And right away, let's let the muscles of our face completely relax. And find any sort of wiggles and movement that will soften up any hard edges. Let's find some breath down into the low belly. Feel the low belly rise. Low belly knits in just a little. Just bringing that awareness down into the low body. Low belly fills. Low belly knits in. And then just almost an imperceptible wave forward with the body and then a little tiny wave back so the head drops and the head lifts and you find an inhale and the head drops and you wave backwards inhaling exhaling so fluid fluid action in the torso the spine and then taking your hands to your knees making this wave a little larger you listen in Inhaling, exhaling. So I'm using my hands to brace me forward and so I can tuck back a little. Find your breath, some sort of breath rhythm. this last time finding yourself upright again and imagine that you can stir the whole bowl of your hips and you drop right and back and left and stirring fluid let the shoulders be part of it and then stirring the other way Leaving your right hand on your right knee, just twist to the left. Use that traction to press and twist. Left hand behind you like a second spine. Lift up, lift up just a little taller. A little fluid motion, organically moving how it would feel right to you. Then bringing it back through center, left hand, left knee, lift and twist over to the right. Bring it back through center. Bring those feet flat, swing onto your bum, point your fingertips towards your hips, and round your shoulders, and round the spine. Exaggerate this rounding. And then inhale, lengthen, press the heart through. Exhale, round. Wiggle, wiggle. Bring it up. And round. Then bring it up. Let's turn the fingertips to face back. Maybe you walk them back just a little bit more. And if the pinky fingers can come a little closer together, that's cool. And bend your elbows and round the shoulder. Mm. Spread the hands. Feel kind of an epic stretch in the wrists. Mm. 
Inhale, puff the heart through. Exhale, round. And then inhale, puff the heart. Reach the right hand forward and lift up. Lift up, sweep, sweep, sweep. Watch the hands as hand as you place it back down. Left hand reaches, lift, sweep. Swarming the shoulders. Right hand reaches. Left hand reaches. Watch it. Place it flat. Then flex your feet, reach your hands forward, and release your, all your fingers, but your thumb and forefinger, and push and round and exaggerate this rounding. And inhale, reach the arms up, gaze up, shoulders up, and round. This time, roll back just a little. Feet are flexed. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale and round. This time, reach it up. And as though you were trying to pull your hands apart, but they wouldn't come apart. You tug, you tug. So it's heating up the shoulders. And round. Pressing the hands, pulling them apart, pulling them apart, firing up the shoulders. Good, and rolling all the way down. Bring the legs up. Shins parallel to the floor and release your hands behind your neck. Press your back down, starting to create heat in the belly, heat in the back body. Let's rotate the ankles, fire up the feet. Keeping any tension out of your jaw, okay? Facial muscles relaxed. Rest in your head and your hands. Extend the left leg. Take that left shoulder across towards the right knee. Let's not round. Let's see if we can fold from the waist. Eyes up. Chin up. Pressing the back down. Then coming back to neutral. Inhale here, please. Extend the right leg. Right shoulder comes across to the left knee. Chin up. Find your breath. Back through center. You get extra points for shaking. Okay, left leg extends. Left shoulder pulls across to that right knee. Press the back down. Find your breath. Back through center. Inhale. Right leg extends. Right shoulder comes across to that left knee. Bring it back through center, extend both legs up, shake, 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 shake them out, extend the right leg, left leg swims, and we just swim, we just swim back and forth, no big deal, just swim, 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 warming up the hips, and then bending the knee, pressing through the heel, heel, eyes up, okay. And then bicycle backwards. Circle backwards, big bicycle. Just resting the head and the hands. And then bicycle forward, big circle. Extend the legs up, flex the feet. Lift the hips and turn the toes to the right. Lift the hips and turn the toes to the left. Lift right and left. Lift, twist, lift, twist. It's not about your neck. We're finding that low belly, that core, the whole hip turns. Ninety-nine, ninety-eight, ninety-seven, and three, and two. And one, good. Set your head down, slide your legs down to the base of your mat, reach your arms up over your head, and arch your back, lift your back up off the floor. Reach the whole right side of the body, fingertips and toes. Deep breath. 
And the whole left side of the body, fingertips and toes. Deep breath. Let's bring it back through center. Hands behind your knees. Rock and roll yourself up. Soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Elbows to your knees or the inner thighs somewhere. Lengthen through the front belly and fold over the leg. Find your breath. Two more long, silky breaths. Little action in pressing the knees out. Bring that, bring the feet together. Wiggle up over your feet. See if you can, your heels don't have to touch the floor. Or the heels seek the floor. Can you wrap your arms around your outer thighs a little bit and press the knees in? Let your head drop. And a very loose, bent knee forward fold. Let the head hang. Bend your right knee. Sort of press out through that left hip just a little. Bend your left knee. Press out that through that right hip just a little. And one more time, sway. Right knee bends. And left knee bends. Let the head and neck trail, please, and roll up slowly to standing. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Press the heart through. Tug those hands down. Feel the inner thighs very active, low belly very active. Let's see if you can find an upper back bend. It's not about dropping the head back, it's about letting that heart come through, reaching those hands towards the floor. Very active glutes, inner thighs. Inhale up through center, soften your knees, keep your hands bound, and find a forward fold. Let the arms relax towards the floor. Mm. Take your hands back to your bum, slide the hands down the backs of the legs. Little tug in your forward fold. Plant your palms, step back, downward facing dog. Broaden the shoulders, okay? Instead of shrugging the shoulders up by your ears, pull them broad and wide. Let the neck be nice and long. Undulate forward, pull the belly in. Undulate forward to a high plank. So instead of Tilting the chin forward. Open up the back of the neck. We're not looking back at our feet. We're looking down at the floor. Pushing away from the floor. And take that right knee, touch that right upper arm. The left knee touches the left upper arm. We're going to do 30, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep going. Two, 23, see if that knee can come a little bit higher. 28, 29, 30, downward facing. Look towards your hands, soften your elbows, loosen everything up. Let's turn those toes to the right, knees to the right. You have to be just a yummy, crouching, twisted dog. And then turn the knees to the left. Twisted, crouching dog. And straighten it back out. Right leg floats to the sky. Not too high, please. Mm -hmm. Pull the knee to the upper arm. 
touch. Take the leg back up. This time, step the foot through. Put both hands on the inside of that foot. So roll around just a little. If you can put your palms flat, that would be better. And then rise up on the ball of that right foot. Come way forward over the ball of that right foot. Back your neck nice and long. Set the heel down and slowly rise up. Crescent pose. Loose, loose, loose. Let's not even take our arms up yet. Let's just hang here. Find this opening in the hips. And then float the arms up. Fingertips to the shoulders. Lift and twist to the right. And then open the arms only to the space where your shoulders are. So how about cranking the arms back and forward? Find your breath. Then slice that right hand back, grab hold that left thigh. arms back up. Stay with it. Right hand, right thigh, left elbow comes to the outside. Hands in prayer. Fire up that back leg. Both hands to the floor. Roll around a little bit, come a little deeper into the pose, and then step back, downward facing. Coming out, high plank, low belly. It's totally different when you start with the left knee first. So left knee touches one, two, three, Four, five, six. Thirteen, keep going. Fourteen, let's let that knee be high on that upper arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Downward facing. How about a lion's breath? Deep breath in. Open your mouth. Stick your tongue out. Take the tension out of your jaw. Left leg floats up. Not too high. We're not coming into our back. That knee comes to that upper arm. Touch. Take it up. Step the foot through. Both hands on the inside. Roll around a little bit. And then let's rise up high on the ball of that left foot. Find your breath. Set the heel down, shift the weight back. Let's not use our arms to start. Let's just float up to our crescent. My fancy move. Sweep the arms up. Fingertips to the shoulders. Stay with your breath, a little buoyant in the body. Turn the body to the left. Can I take it to the I'm using my fingertips to turn the shoulders, then extend the arms only to where your shoulders are. Slice that left hand back, grab the outside of that right thigh. Your 
breath. And then taking that left hand with that left thigh so you can anchor that right elbow high on that thigh, hands in prayer. More breath. Hands down. Let's step forward this time. Forward fold. Soften your knees, fingertips to the floor. Find your Utkatasana. So theoretically, your belly is not touching your thighs. You're pulling the belly off the thighs. Clasp the hands behind your back. Press that heart through. And just for fun, let's rise up on the balls of the feet. Set your heels down, keep the hands bound, forward full. Where's your breath? Sweep the fingertips, bend the knees one more time, reach the arms up. Utkatasana. Inhale all the way up, bend your elbow, open the heart up. Inhale, reach. Elbows full. Inhale, reach. Inner thighs, okay? Tight glutes. This time, float the arms all, all the way down. Open the heart, upper back bend. Bring it up, soften the knees. Bound forward, fold. Both hands down, step back, now we're facing God. Right foot steps to the outside of that right foot. Left foot steps to the outside of that left foot. Reach the arms forward, up, reach, set it down. Right foot steps back, left foot steps back. Right, left, reach, up, reach. You can hop if you'd like. Right, up, center, down. You can keep walking back and forth. You can hop. You can be right, left, right, left, reach. Stay with it, take a break, and come back in if you need to. Two more. Now stay here in this deep malasana. Reach the arms forward. Plant the palms, step back, downward facing. Right leg floats up. Step it through. Back heel peels down. Bend that front knee. Right hand, right thigh. Reach that left arm forward, up and over. Warrior two. We'll loosen the hips, okay? Let's take that left thumb and peel that left hip down. Instead of it sticking up, pull it down and under. Find some action in the gluteal muscles. Reach the arms up, straighten the front leg. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart. Exhale, come a little deeper into the pose. Inhale, up. Exhale. Find exalted, reach that right arm up, look up. Bend a little bit more into that front knee. Let it bring it open. Warrior two. Let's kickstand those back toes. 
Kick down those back toes. Flex that back foot. Find your balance. Arda Chandrasana. Use your fingers. Bending that front knee, stepping back. One more time, right arm comes up, exalted. Both hands come down to the inside of that right foot. Wiggle that right shoulder underneath that knee. Right shoulder comes behind the calf, underneath that knee. Come up on those back toes and see about sweeping that knee up onto that arm. Take it back, downward facing. Undulating forward, high plank. Right knee touches that right upper arm. Take it down to the wrist. Take it up to the upper arm. Take it down to the wrist, upper arm, wrist, upper arm. One more, wrist, upper arm. Take it back, downward facing. How about a lion's breath? Deep breath in. Stick your tongue out. Let it go. Broaden the shoulders, please. Take the, undulate out to a high plank. Take that left knee to that left upper arm, down to the wrist, upper arm, down to the wrist, upper arm, wrist, one more, upper arm, wrist, extend that left leg up. This time we'll step it through. Back heel peels down, left hand, left thigh. Reach that right arm up and over, warrior two. Sometimes it helps if you take the edges of your mouth and you pull them up towards your ears. All of a sudden, life is sweeter. And once again, I'm gonna remind you to take that right thumb and press that right hip down. Let's take that left arm up and exalt it. I find my low belly breath be very calming. I bring my breath back down there. Warrior two. And let's kick stand. Back toes. Float it up. those back toes, that left shoulder wiggles behind the calf, underneath the knee. So elbows are nice and bent, pointed back. Maybe you can wiggle that knee onto that upper left arm. Find your breath. Take it back, downward facing. Okay, so let's play with a little hop. Whatever you're comfortable with, hop land. See about kicking those heels into the bum. Just play. I know it's scary. And then hopping all the way forward. I don't care how far forward. Just maybe a walk to the rest of the way. Long, long spine forward fold. Slow rise up to standing. Inhale, arms up. Hands to your heart. Good. 
Okay. And let's take our right foot over the top of the left and create a four shape. So I'm putting a lot of weight in those right toes. Interlace palms to the sky. Active in the bum, and then up and over to the right. Bring it up through center, up and over to the left. Bring it up through center. Now I have to tip my bum back just a little bit to reach the palms forward and forward and forward. And the palms seek the floor, face the floor. Now turn the palms up, draw through those inner thighs, draw up from the earth, grounded. Sweep all the way back up. Release the hands, lift that left knee. Take the knee out to the side, arms out to the side. And then fold to a flat back. And then if you ha have it in you, to straighten that leg. Flat back. Bend the knee, tuck the tail, bring it back up. Knee to the front. Bring it down. Shake it up. Hey, right. now the left foot comes across. Let's make this four shape. The knee's not pointing forward, the knee's pointing out. Interlace, palms to the sky. Up and over to the left. Bring it up through center, find your breath. Up and over to the right. up through center and then tip back just a little as you reach your hands forward. <sighs> Palms face the floor. And then turn the palms up and slow rise. Separate the hands, lift that left knee. Knees out to the side, arms out to the side. And then come out to a flat back. And if you have it in you, to straighten that leg. Bend the knee, bring it back in, bring the knee back front. Bring it down, shake it out. Top of your mat, inhale, arms up. Melt it down, forward fold. Step back, downward facing. This time, let's sit our knees down. Walk the hands back a little bit. Let's leave that bum up. Walk the hands back a lot. Dive the sternum. Come back up. Find the thumb and forefinger, not the outside of the hand so much. Dive the sternum. Bum up. Two more times. This time, 
let's hold it. Slither through. Find your cobra pose. Inhale. Shoulders spread. Front of the shoulders spread. And pour it down. Inhale up. Pour it down. And three. And down. Active through the legs just a little bit. And inhale up. Right down. This time bring it up. Pop your hands off the floor. Reach the hands back. We're not clasping, we're just drawing the palms towards each other, finding that strong shoulder blade squeeze. Good. Bring the hands out to the side. Tent your fingers. Tent the fingers. I'm going to look over my right shoulder and bend my right knee. And pour it down. Look over your left shoulder, bend your left knee. Pour it down. And right. And down. And left. And down. I'll spin both knees. Come up. Pour it down. Reach back. Grab hold of your feet, ankles, something. Find your breath. On the exhale, push into your hands with your feet or ankles. Let the legs do the work. Let the upper body relax. Inhale a little higher. Lower down just a little. Inhale higher. Lower down. Inhale a little higher. Lower down. Then lift. Settle in. And slow release. Put your elbows underneath your shoulders. Find your sphinx pose. Let's take that left hand and bring it across on a little bit of a diagonal. A little bit. We're not sagging that left shoulder. We're lifting up and out. Reach back for that right foot. Let's bring it close to the bottom. And if it's available, we spin that hand. Careful not to sag in that left shoulder. Find your breath. That right hip wants to peel up off the floor, and we start to relax it to the floor. And slow release. Little wiggle, and then that right hand comes across on a little diagonal, lift up and out of that right shoulder, reach back for that left foot. Try to bring that heel close to the bottom. Doing your best to allow that left hip to sink the floor. Can you open the face of the shoulders just a little bit more? Lifting out of that right shoulder. And slow release. Into your sphinx. Lift up your bum. Carefully walk back, slowly coming out of our deep back bends. Downward facing. 
undulating forward, high plank. Right knee, right upper arm, and left, and right, and left. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. A little bit higher on the arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Not quite done yet. Right hand touches that left upper arm. Left hand touches that right upper arm. And right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left, last two. Downward facing. Step that right foot forward. Left foot's on the same plane, excuse me, a couple boards between the feet. Reach that left hand forward like you're shaking someone's hand. And then take that left hand to the outside of that right foot. Right fingertips, right shoulder. And then float that right arm up. just a one-legged forward fold and then take that left foot to the sky and bring it down left foot up bring it down left foot up bring it down extend the leg all the way up this time walk the hands forward so you can plant your palms and play a little hop play a little hop Good, this time, let's take that left knee behind the right knee, come all the way down to a seat. The left hand comes around that right knee. Options to bind if that's something that you want to practice. And extend the leg if you want to add on. Good work, everyone. Bring the foot back down. Shift forward on that front foot. Take that left leg back to the sky. And bring it down, forward fold. Right foot steps back. Two thirds of the way. If the back heel needs to be turned in a little bit for balance, then you can do that. Right hand reaches forward like you're shaking someone's hand. Long back of your neck. Where's your breath? And the right hand comes to the outside of that right foot. Left fingertips to your left shoulder, so I'm using that so they roll that heart open. And then we reach that left, left arm up. Here's your breath. Then bring it down. Pop that back knee in, knee to knee, right heel to the sky, right toes to the sky. Extend the leg up. Bring it down. Extend it up. Bring it down. Third time. This time, extend the leg up. Let's cross it behind and come all the way down to a seat.
wrapping the arm, finding a long spine. And if a bind is part of your practice, you find the bind. But whatever we're doing, we're breathing, okay? Find that low belly breath. If you want to add on, extend the leg. Bring it down. Bring legs. Tip into that front foot. Once again, take that leg to the sky, standing split. Walk the hands out so you can plant your palms and play with little hops. Good. Set the knees down. Anahatasana, so high puppy pose. Reach the arms forward. Your forehead drops to the floor. Let your neck relax. Slow the breath down, okay? Slow it down. So just for fun, let's give it a try, okay? So walk those feet forward. See if you can find those upper arms and lift the feet. Let's give it a try. And then find our dolphin pose, dolphin. Spread the shoulders a little. The elbows don't have to be straight behind the hands. Open them if that's better for you. Take that right leg up, bend the knee, and take that toe to the top of your head. Maybe play with a little hop. Spin the leg, set it down. Left leg comes up, bend the knee, point the toe, toe to the top of your head. Play the little hop. Or not. Let's set the feet down. Knees down. Let's find our Anahatasana, our puppy pose, one more time. Hips high. Elbows to the floor. Drop your head. Bring it up. I swing around. Find a seat. Shake, shake, shake. Really good work, everyone. I think. <laughs> All right. And let's wiggle, wiggle. Rock, rock. Rock, rock. Find a forward fold. Let's not have it be a striving forward fold. Just where the hands land. Okay? And let everything relax. Tendency is for the soles of the feet to turn towards each other. Let's see if that maybe that pinky toe can pull back just a little. Find that low belly breath. Fill it up. Maybe the spine lengthens a little bit. And pour it back down. Long, silky breaths. And then let's bring it up. Bring that left foot in. I'm gonna reach my left shoulder inside. See if I can bind that leg. Just coming around the front. And I'm gonna ask that we sit up. And maybe you come on the ball of that left foot and you twist to the right. Let's set the foot back down this time. Let's fold in. A little active in that extended right foot. Mm. One 
more long, silky breath. Bring it up. Let's give it a try. Let's take those peace fingers inside that left big toe. And those right fingertips sink that right big toe. Don't worry, no one's taking any pictures. So if you can pull it back like a bow and arrow. And slow release. Shake it out. Right foot comes back. I'm going to reach inside. See if I can find. Active left foot. And I'm going to start by coming on the ball of that foot, and leaning back and taking the twist over to the left. Slow the breath down. Taking that right big toe, those right piece fingers, left toe, those left piece fingers. It's definitely a balance challenge, trying to pull that right knee back. And slow release. Shake, shake, shake. Let's find our upavista. Wide stance with your feet folding in. So I like to kind of lift and move the flesh and take my hands on my thighs and press the thighs back. Active in the feet, not just, not tension filled, but active. slow. Just fold that right foot back. Fold it back sort of a hurdler's stretch. And I'm going to adjust again and fold out over that extended leg. If you'd like to add on, you take that outside arm to the outside of that thigh and bring your hands in prayer. that bent knee, taking the other leg, fold it back, extend out that, through that front leg, fold it over. Mm -hmm. And then adding on, if you'd like, taking that outside arm to the outside of that extended leg, refining your hands in prayer. Mm -hmm. Swing around. Finding your way onto your back. Feet flat. Knees bent up. Take the arms up over your head. Inhale here. As you exhale, lift the hips and touch the fingertips to the thighs. Inhale, set the hips down. Reach the arms back up. Exhale. Lift the hips. Touch the fingertips to the thighs. Bring it up. Fingertips to the thighs. This time, leave your hips up. Take your arms up over your head. Lift the hips just a little bit more. Let's make sure those feet are nice and turned in. Feet are not turned out. Find your breath.
Rise up high on the balls of the feet, undulate the spine back down to the floor. Take your arms out to the side. I like to take my arms sort of upward instead of down by my body. Just try that today. If that's not feeling good, then you take your arms down for Shavasana. Do whatever wiggles that you need. Flip-flop your feet. Wiggle your shoulders under. Nod your head a gentle no. And all of us together, great big deep breath in. Open your mouth. Shavasana. Sliding your right knee out to the side and rolling onto your right side. Sealing in the calm, sealing in the practice. So grateful to have the opportunity to play with you today. Sweeping yourself up to a seat. to the roof of your mouth, palms to your thighs, find breath down into your low belly, all the muscles of your face are completely slack. Hands together at your heart. Great big deep breath in, open your mouth. Thumbs to your forehead to remind you of the abundance in your life. Thumbs to your mouth that you might speak with discernment. Hands to your heart for a heart full of grace. Namaste.